Hi, I'm Mark Polk with RV Education 101, and I would like to welcome you to our RV Driving Skills video series sponsored by Explorer RV Insurance. Hopefully you have viewed the other videos in this series because today we're going to discuss setup. Proper setup is the most important part of any maneuver. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Once you have collected all of the other data on your motorhome, you will know exactly what you need to do to properly set up for a maneuver. The setup is the most important part of any maneuver. Setup is how you position your rig to start a maneuver after taking all of the other factors into consideration. Looking at this setup chart, you will see the same turn setup from three different starting positions. On the left, you see the coach starting its turn when the rear is adjacent with the obstruction. You can see how much room the motorhome needed to turn from this starting position. The middle view shows the coach starting its turn when the obstruction is adjacent to the pivot point. As you can see, the overall space required to complete the turn from this starting point is shortened by the length of the rear overhang on the motorhome. The turn on the right hand side shows what can be done when the turn offset data is applied. By setting up further away from the obstruction and starting to make your turn earlier, you would be able to turn into a much smaller lane or opening. Also, by knowing your tail swing, you know at least how far to be away from a wall or other objects before you start making your turn. Something that really needs to be stressed here is don't force a turn. If there is not enough room to make the maneuver, stop and wait for traffic to clear before completing your turn. And if it doesn't look like there is enough room to make the maneuver, don't do it. Driving your RV can be much more enjoyable and less stressful when you apply some of these RV driving skills tips. This RV driving skills tip is from our Drive Your Motorhome Like a Pro DVD, Happy Camping. 